hello guys welcome to my channel today hope you guys are doing okay i am doing very well i'm doing fine it's been a stressful stressful couple of weeks but then i am thankful to god i am thankful so today i want to um, i'm doing a video on how not to be angry for a long time how to like be in control of your emotions how to be in control of your anger it's okay to be angry it's okay to be pissed when people has, have offended you but when the hunger takes like a prolonged time you know which start affecting you it start affecting you not the offender not the person that has pissed you off not the thing the situation that has pissed you off you are the one that is not happy that is unhappy He's sending me a message all right so i'll just go right into my point so the first thing i'm going to say is that after you have gotten hungry or you are mad at the person always recognize that um no one is perfect you are not perfect especially the you like the me especially the me like realize that you are not perfect and because you are not perfect you are liable to like make mistakes too you are liable to do things even things that the person has done you are liable to do it too at times we even offend people we don't even know we've offended them there are times we do things out of happy habits and we don't even know like we are doing those things for example let me cite you an example for example when i'm talking to my husband every time i would say no no matter what we are doing or no matter what we are saying i start with no blah 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 and that's it pisses him off all the time like i, I don't even know i say no like to be sincere you'd be like why are you always saying no like even if you are like for what i'm saying like even though you're not against what i'm saying you still start with no and the, the thing is i don't even know i'm saying no then recently i was talking to my younger sister and my younger sister was telling me that when you're talking with my dad my dad would say no <laughs> and then i just laughed because i legit got it from him and i'm pretty sure he doesn't even know he's saying it so like always recognize that you are not perfect you're also liable to do that thing that person has done to you so you might offend you are you, definitely you're offending someone else like i remember before like i was like a perfectionist i'm still a perfectionist but like before i don't want to offend anybody i don't want to do what will make someone mad so i was always prevent i literally prevent like any kind of quarrel any kind of Fight, me saying things to people like me offending people, I literally offend you. But you know what? At the end of the day, I end up like offending someone because at times when you're too conscious of things you do, when you're too conscious of like being perfect, you end up offending someone. So always recognize that you are not perfect, and because you are not perfect, you can also do those things. You can also you're offending. Just know you're offending someone too. You are pissing someone off. Look, so like accepting your imperfection makes you like see other people's imperfection as something to be less concerned of so like you'll be less peace like you won't feel like someone is a monster because they have offended you because i've actually heard people using those words before saying someone is a monster because they've offended them just always recognize that you are also not perfect and when you recognize that you are not perfect you understand other people's imperfection and why or how they are liable to do things imperfectly so to my second point it's not about you I feel like this should be something we should even tell like kids that are growing up kids that are young like telling them that it's not about you like when people are mad when people are angry when people are like when people are angry at you when people say stuff to you they say negative things to you just so it's not about you it's just a reflection of the person it's a reflection of the situation the person is at where the person is at at the stage they have their life and what they perceive of you so it's not about you they are trying to put say things to you because they also feel um they also feel bad about themselves they always they also feel like they are not enough that they are not doing anything enough and because of that they tend to like pass that aggression to us like if you grew up in Africa, if you are raised by an African parent, you would know like this legit reflects in African parents in general. Like at times when an African parent can attain like something, let's say for example, a mom wants to be a lawyer and then along the line she got pregnant and she could not further in school. When she gave birth to a child and she said one of her child have like that trait of like talking and defending things, they kind of pass it to their children. They want their children to become lawyers regardless of if the child is interested just become a lawyer they are successful they make money 
the same thing with marriage you do big parties in africa just because your parent wanted to do big parties or because you you uh, your friend did a good big party and stuff so like the same thing to that like at times people do things because it's a reflection of them it's not about you when someone look at you in a particular way or they behave bad to you the first thing you should tell yourself is that it is not about me it is not about something I do. Like before, I used to think like I do everything wrong. I do everything like when people come in a particular way, it made me have really low self-esteem because I feel like there's something wrong with me. There's something I'm always doing wrong. There's something I'm always saying wrong. And when I continue thinking about it, I'm like I didn't do anything to this person. There are times that someone would be like talking to you and then all of a sudden they'll just behave in a particular way. And you start blaming yourself like I do that all the time blame myself for something that I don't even know if I did it or not Something I don't even know I did maybe, maybe it's just the way I spoke maybe the way I did my face like you're not control about those things If someone is like touchy because of those things it's because they are touchy not because there's something wrong with the way you like Actually behave behave so yeah so always put it in mind that it is not about you like if people feel like you have offended them and it's really really bad they would come to you to tell you or something but always know that it's not about you you're not always offending someone you're not always doing something wrong there's nothing wrong with you it is not about you when someone has behaved bad it is not about you they are just like people that behave in that way like there are different ways to respond to someone that has behaved bad to you you can call them you can speak to them but insulting someone because they have offended you and you taking that insult and feeling like, oh, it's not about you. Nothing is about you. So always put it in mind that it's not about you. So down to my third point. At times, you have to do this thing I want to talk about. You have to cut people off. Like before, even till like two years ago, I used to think cutting people off is immaturity. Like I used to feel like, oh, why you cut people off? You are being immature and stuff. Okay, so there's a difference between cutting people off and keeping malice. So the keeping malice part, I think that would be like, the immature part but if you cut people off for valid reason like it's not like you're keeping malice with them like you are happy for them when something good happens to them you are like you are all there for their wins but you don't want to be in their life that is cutting people off you don't really you don't feel like this person is something like someone i can really deal with like they continue making your emotion from from tweets like from left to right up and down and you I've told them like this is very important you have told them about something they did and they had responded in a way that you didn't like or you're not satisfied with or like you feel like that way is like w does not like just go down with you then it's okay to cut people off it is okay like at times I feel like when you are mad at someone just retaining them like when you've told them several times like you do this thing to me and I don't like it and they still continue doing that thing I feel like when you remain in that relationship or in that friendship after some time you just get you start getting angry for a prolonged time you feel like you're forgiving this person but when the person like exhibit that same character again you get angry so just cut such person off like if it's someone that is cuttable, like I know you can cut off some people, like your family. I mean, it's possible to cut off family, but your siblings, like your sister, like or your husband or wife, like you can just you have to like just do this next thing. I'm going to say, but like if someone is just someone you talk to, and then like if someone really care about you, they'll really listen to you when you tell them that they've hurt you. So for someone to like not listen to you when you tell them you've hurt them or something, or like when you when someone hurts you constantly. I feel like they don't care about you like if it's that like they don't know they are doing it then when you tell them and they still continue doing it then I feel like they don't care about you so if someone really care about you sincerely and you tell them what they have done to you then they don't stop doing it then they don't care about you I don't want to be around that kind of person that does not care about you so that brings me to the next point my next point which is point number four so the next point is communicate so I feel like communication should be like a separate video on its own because I feel like communication encompasses everything, relationship, friendship, marriages, like relation communication just as it's wide, it's wide in scope. And I feel like it should be a separate message. So like, yeah, communicate to the person, let them know what they do to you that you don't like. Like getting married has like taught me a lot of things about communication about how communication is very important like i grew up in this kind of home that no one says like what they are feeling 
when someone offends you you don't really say you kind of just forgive and let it go and stuff like that so i kind of grew up like that and when i got married my husband is different it, i um is that kind of person that you need to like iron things out talk things out like which is the right way by the way but at first it didn't go down well with me like i didn't like it i hated it because i'm just like oh when something happened just forget about it we start talking again and i'm not mad you're not mad that's fine but to him he likes discussing something and it's kind of really helped us it's still today i'm that kind of person that i now say my mind and i'll speak and i think i had it in me before because i knew that when i was growing up there were times that my friends will offend me or something i would tell them that oh i don't like this thing you've done but when it comes to back home i never really did that and i just forget about things that is done to me and stuff like that so it's kind of went into marriage too so like my other would do things to me and i would just i would just be quiet and then somehow somehow i do those same things to him and he start talking and i'll be like this same thing you're complaining about you also do that and i don't talk and stuff so, but that's not way to, that's not the way to go like i feel like at times when you feel like you forgive yourself for something they've done when they do it continuously like you kind of build something in your heart and one day you react to it like you speak in some ways and like it just escalates and you feel like oh is this small thing i did not knowing it's just a big thing um, it's just like so an accumulated offense but at times you just feel like oh, all these little things there are times that like some things you're not supposed to talk but when it comes to something that really hurts you i feel like you should communicate let the person know like you like this thing you do to me, I don't like it. And when it comes to communication, learn to communicate the right way. That's why I said I, I feel like communication should come like in a separate video. Learn to communicate the right way. Like you communicate to someone like something they've done to you, and you like yo, like you are mad, you are crazy, like uh, something they do you. Like if you're African, you understand. If you're Nigerian, like that's not the way to communicate. The person does not understand what you are saying. The person is just hearing insult, and the person retaliates and fight stats so like when you want to communicate with people make sure you're communicating the right way like oh this thing you did to me i feel hurt by what you said by what you did that is how to communicate like i feel like what crosses core among we human beings most times is just the way we communicate our hurts our hunger because we're not even angry we're just hurt by what the person has done but then we react in a way that we're not supposed to react and the only really funniest thing at times when we, most times when we communicate we realize that what we think the person has done the person didn't even do it or they didn't know they did it but then somehow somehow we've made them be, look like monster and we just name them and call them like monsters and stuff and the, the thing is they didn't do it they, they didn't know they did it i mean or they didn't even do it but somehow we just think someone did something because of something they did and stuff so we should learn to communicate when we learn to communicate it resolves the issue and we find out that probably the person didn't do it or if the person did the person would just say oh, i'm sorry i'm sorry i did something but make sure you're communicating the right way to even hear the i'm sorry and the last thing i'm going to talk about is always understand that we all didn't grow up in the same home we all didn't grow up in the same environment we grew up from even brothers and sisters they don't even behave the same way they don't even understand things the same way they don't even ask me things the same way so now imagine someone that you guys didn't even grow up together there are some things you would do that would be weird like me and my husband we are from the same tribe we speak the same language but there are still some things that we don't even do I like there are some things we don't even pronounce the same way it's just a lot of things now take that to friendship to other relationships like people grew up in different homes and because of that they different environment and because of that they tend to behave differently they came through different hormones different gene so everybody cannot like behave the same way they can't understand things the same way because of their experiences or like other factors so like always understand that we all we are not all from the same background and because of that what some people think is okay and acceptable might not be acceptable to you because of how you grew up so you have to communicate with the person this is i feel odd because of something so yeah that's all i have for you guys today i am not well dressed today um, i just decided to make this video like really fast and um, I'm, I'm also trying so many things like i'm trying to set up my um 
filming room or my video room or my YouTube room just to make things look um, nice a little bit so yeah so yeah thank you so much for watching my video today um, comment down below if you like this video or whatever like if you have something to share like if you also have like your um, anger management technique um, how you um, how you help yourself not to stay hungry for long and stuff how you understand people just comment down below i would like to hear other people's um, suggestion i like to learn from people and i just like to like know how people also go about their daily life and things like that so comment down below if you have a suggestion and um if you are new to this channel you haven't subscribed like really what are you waiting for go down there oh yeah <laughs> All right, just go down there, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell so that when I have videos, you'll get notification. Make sure you like, comment, share this video. Do have a great day, and bye, guys.